Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure and next up, the only thing in this video is the nightmare inducing paramedic mission. So first you're going to get in the um, ambulance. If it's locked, just run away and then come back and uh, see if it respawns and is unlocked. Might take a few attempts. Okay, other thing I'm doing is I drove into the wall on the right to get rid of my uh, passenger door. Right there, you can see it's empty. And then I got rid of the rear doors here. Um, so don't run into the wall um, real hard, uh, but just enough repeatedly to get rid of those doors. Okay, Numlock uh, starts the paramedic mission for me. And, um, and then we're going to head over this way and pick up the first of many, many people, 78 in total. Um, so the idea with paramedic Ed, is, um, is you got to pick up uh, one person on the first mission and uh, bring them back to the hospital. Sorry, the first uh, level. And then two people on the second level and bring them to the hospital. Three people on the third level and bring them to the hospital. All the way up to 12 people on the 12th and final level. A couple of complications. First of all, the capacity of the ambulance is three people. So starting with level four, we're going to be making multiple trips to this space every time. Um, next complication is that if you, it's just, uh, you have to do all 12 of these levels consecutively. And if uh, you fail for any number of reasons, then you got to start over. And that stinks. So let me list a bunch of the reasons that you can uh, fail this thing. Number one, you can accidentally get out of your ambulance at any time, uh, which means like, you know, the F key on my keyboard. If you do that, you fail and you got to start over. Uh, number two, uh, you might uh, damage the ambulance uh, so much that it catches fire. And if that happens, you fail. And unfortunately, the pay and spray will not, um, it, it won't take care of any of the uh, emergency vehicles like the police vehicles. I think I should have gone right back there. I didn't realize this guy was all the way as far uh, east as he is. That's okay. Uh, so the paint spray will not repair your ambulance, so if you damage it too much, there's no recourse, uh, so try to be careful. Uh, probably the most common way to fail a uh, paramedic is to uh, flip your ambulance. Um, the ambulance is very easy to roll or flip or whatever, and if you can uh, get it back onto its wheels, then that's okay. Uh, but if you can't, uh, then it will, if it lands on its side or on its uh, roof or whatever, uh, then it will catch fire and you will fail. And so one of the keys here, is, I'm heading this way first because there's two folks to the north and I'm just trying to um, go where there's more people in the beginning here so that I can make sure I have enough time to complete things. All right, where's this person? Just on the other side of the construction here. Um, Okay, so what were we saying? Uh, so it's really, really easy to flip this thing. And so a lot of the turns that I make, I make, I didn't mean to come this way. Uh, I make uh, using the handbrake, which is the space bar on my keyboard. Um, because if you make a handbrake turn, you will not roll or flip your vehicle. But if you make a normal turn, it is quite possible to roll or flip your vehicle. And so lots of handbrake turns and being very, very careful uh, as I'm near poles and cars and pedestrians or whatever. It's okay to run over pedestrians. Um, you do that too much and you might get a wanted level um, and that could be quite dangerous, but it's okay. Um, I'm just heading south to the, uh, the last one. I'm not sure where they are, but somewhere south of the hospital. You could drop these folks off now, but it doesn't much matter. So we'll just pick up the last person right over here. Another way to fail is by running over uh, any of these sick patients. Uh, if any of them dies, you fail, uh, paramedic, and you got to start over, uh, level 1 out of 12. Um, sometimes there'll be like a drunk driver near your patient, and they will squish your patient, and that can be, and, and you fail for that reason too. So really, really easy to fail. All right, all four to the north here. Uh, also, if you run out of time on any of the levels, then you fail. And so uh, it's just really, really unforgiving, uh, this mission. Um, for me, it takes about 35 minutes or so. Uh, and I really do have to like focus and concentrate for those 35 minutes. And uh, you make any significant mistake in that 35 minute period and you got to start over. Um, okay, so let's talk strategies a little bit here. So first of all, 
uh, in the interest of full disclosure, where's this person around the corner here? Um, when I played this mission initially, when I first played it, uh, I failed. I don't remember how I failed. One of those ways that I just listed, surely. Um, and, uh, and then I tried it again, and I failed again, and I failed and failed and failed. And altogether, before I passed this thing for the first time, I spent, no joke, 16 hours trying and failing paramedic before I got my first mission pass. So part of that is that um, like the, uh, the time that they give you here uh, can be really, really short. And sometimes they'll give you not very much like refill time. Every time you pick up a patient, you get some time added to the timer. When you drop these guys off, only the first time that you drop them off on a level, you'll get time added to the timer. You can see 25 seconds there. Just heading back to the north here, trying not to hit that police car because that would give me a wanted star. Isn't the end of the world, but not ideal. Um, and so I was rushing because I was failing sometimes because I was running out of time and rushing uh, caused me to drive worse and then I would smack into a light pole or a car into a light pole and I would flip my ambulance and fail that way. And um, like I said, 16 hours of failures before I finally passed this thing. It was horrible. All right, so I see three folks to the north, so I'm going to head up there. Um, all right, so this one to my left, we're going to skip for the time being. We're going to keep going farther away. So here's one of the strategies. One of the things I didn't realize um, during my 16 hours of failing is that uh, the amount of time you get uh, when uh, each patient gets into your ambulance is strictly determined by the amount of time you get when you pick up the first patient on each level. So here, I don't know how much time I'm going to get. 27 seconds. I'm going to get 27 seconds on whoopsies, on every uh, passenger pickup for this entire level five of paramedic. And 27 seconds is a pretty healthy amount of time for that, um, you know, that uh, passenger bonus or whatever. And so um, another thing that I learned after 16 hours of failing um, is that uh, the farther away the first person is that you pick up, the larger the time bonus you get for them. And so it used to be that I would pick somebody up that was, you know, kind of like close to the hospital. And then they would, instead of giving me 27 seconds, they'd give me, you know, 21 seconds or 20 seconds or 18 seconds. And so I was running into all kinds of time problems because I didn't understand that I should be picking, at, at least the first person I pick up should be far away so that I can get more time. All right, so this person's kind of in an awkward spot. As soon as he starts moving, I'm going to back up to give him room to get in the ambulance. Where are you, buddy? There we go. And uh, as soon as he's in, then I can back up uh, and head back and drop off my full ambulance worth of passengers here. So the main strategy is to pick up somebody who's far away initially. And then a secondary strategy is the beginning folks that you pick up, you kind of want to group them together so that you get a lot of time in the beginning. Um, as we get to these later rounds, we're going to finish some of these uh, levels with, you know, like a minute and a half, two minutes. We might even get above three minutes once in a while. And that's plenty of time. So the, the diciest time in each level is the start of each level. It's that very first passenger that you choose to pick up. How far do you have to go? How long does it take you to get to them? And then how much time do you get? added to your clock because you picked up somebody far away. So there's a lot of subtlety here in terms of like, where do you go initially? Um, another thing that makes this difficult in GTA 3 is the lousy map. And uh, I wasn't paying attention. I think they're over here. Um, and the fact that you can't click on it to find out like exactly where these folks are, right? Like if you could click on the map, like in Vice City or San Andreas, um, then at the start of each level, you can click on the map and, and then figure out exactly where they are and how they're grouped and then make a plan. But you can't do that here. You just get this really, really partial information, very incomplete information. Um, and then you have to decide, you know, very quickly, OK, which way am I going and who do I pick up first? So my general strategy, and this is just a rule of thumb, not a, you know, it's not set in stone here. All right, so there's this drunk driver. I'm just going to kind of wait for him to get out of the way. Um, my general strategy is to head north and pick up the north northernmost person, but I don't always do it, and I'm not going to do it. Well, I might do it here, but uh, I'm looking for three folks that are kind of grouped together. And I don't know where this most northernmost person is here, but that's where we're headed in the hopes that we get a large time bonus from picking up somebody first who's far away. And so we'll head through this park here. Just took a quick glance at the, oh goodness, damaging my ambulance here. Um, 
Took a quick glance at the time, uh, 22 seconds or so makes me a bit nervous to pick this person up. Um, something else I should say, as soon as they start um, moving, I stop my ambulance. I don't try to get closer to them because then you run the risk of squishing them and killing them and starting over. And so as soon as they begin moving, I guess I should have picked up this other guy first over here. As soon as they start moving, um, I stop and I hold down my handbrake and my reverse. Uh, yeah, so now I'm just holding space bar while they move and make their way into the ambulance. Okay, so uh, one more person. This will make three for the ambulance here, and then it's full, and then we'll go back. So we'll get the 24 seconds there, and then another 24 seconds when we drop these folks off. Again, you only get the bonus for dropping them all off on the first batch of people. And I don't even think you need to drop off a full boat of three to get that bonus. I think you can just drop off one person and you'll still get the bonus, but you only get it the first time you drop them off. Okay, now I'm heading south because the, there are two folks to the south and only one to the north. And I want to do people kind of grouped together if I'm worried about time. And so um, I generally uh, pick the folks that are closer together when there's a choice so that you can get multiple time bonuses in kind of a a short, shorter period of time. Okay, another thing I should say, super important, do not get very close to these passengers when you pick them up. Um, let them do a little bit of the walking to get to you. Uh, number one, walking is healthy, no matter what ails these folks, just, just good to walk. Um, and number two, uh, if you get too close to them and uh, slide into them, you fail. And then you get to start over. So, um, even though it's like a little bit faster to get closer to them, let them walk to you to reduce the chances of you squishing them like grapes. So here you can see I'm way far away. I could have gotten closer to him. We'll take, we'll waste, you know, two seconds by letting him run out to us and then not fail. Okay, so I think this is it for level six, halfway there, right? Okay, looking for where there are more folks. I see them to the north, looking at the minimap, and I'm just kind of trying to group three together in my head. So mostly paying attention to driving and the cars in front of me, but also glancing at the map to make my plan. So I can see two folks are up there to my east, uh, here in the St. Mark's region. And then the first one we're going to pick up is the farthest one away. I'm actually tempted to go get the other northernmost one guy. Now we'll just do this. Oh gosh, that was way too close to him. I did not follow my own advice about giving them lots of space and almost squished them. Okay, 29 seconds is quite healthy. Um, we're just gonna grab these other two. I think they're both on this same road here. Okay, so here we're gonna make it so this guy doesn't have to go out on the road at all because there were other cars on the road. And if any of them squishes your patient and they die, you get to start over. So taking it very careful, um, when there are other cars around that might squish your patient. Okay, another quick look at the mini map, also a quick look at the clock. So a minute 27 is plenty of time, so no time worries on this level here, but we are gonna grab these other three that are kind of grouped together, and then we'll make a, a one last run for the one person that's by himself south of the ambulance. And again, once you've picked up the first person, the bonus time you get for each subsequent patient is fixed. So here you can pick them up in whatever order seems efficient in terms of driving and getting them. And so we'll grab these two. They look kind of close together. So that's our safe house right here to the right, as I show off by smacking into a truck. Okay, so we'll grab this one. And the other one is just further north. Uh, so because I see two passengers in the back, that means the third available seat is the passenger seat. So we'll pick them up this way and then back up and head back to the ambulance, uh, the, to the hospital. And then uh, drop off that one lone patient that was to the south. Okay, so in terms of... Um, how many passengers you got to pick up. Like I said, it's uh, 12 levels and there's a simple little formula that can tell you how many, how much you get when you add one and two and three and four all the way up to some number n. And that formula is n times n plus one over two. Uh, or you take the number of levels and you add one and you multiply and then divide by two. So 12 levels, 12 times 13, uh, what is that, 156? And then we cut that in half. And we get 78. So 78 passengers altogether. 
So we're about to finish level seven here, seven out of 12. So to figure out how many passengers we will have dropped off with the end of this level, we do the level seven times one more, eight, that's 56, and then cut that in half, 28. So we will have only dropped off 28 out of 78. So even though like, you know, seven out of 12 feels like, oh, it's more than halfway, it's not. So it's, it's only like a third in terms of the passengers who dropped off 28 out of uh, 78. But don't let the math intimidate you. If you just pay attention and follow my words of advice, you should get through it. Okay, I looked at the clock a minute two. Uh, now I'm looking at the cars in front of me. All right, now I'm looking at the map as I look at the cars in front of me. And I've got my plan to pick up these three folks, mostly driving, but occasional glances at the map to come up with the plan. So three folks to the north. And again, this is my common, oh gosh. This is my common technique, uh, is to grab the person furthest north here. 31 seconds. Oh, so generous, Rockstar. Thank you. So we'll grab this one here, and then I think he's coming. Yep. And then uh, this left up here, and we'll have plenty of time for the rest of these folks. Um, so just trying to come up with a plan here. And again, as soon as they start moving, I stop. So I can see two folks who are kind of close to each other on the mini map there uh, furthest north. So I think we're going to grab them together and then the other, oh gosh, then the other three folks together as well. So we're going to go to uh, the hospital here, drop these guys off, and then we'll continue south just because that's the way that our ambulance is going to be pointing when we drop these ones off. And then we'll grab these three folks who are south. And then the last trip will be to get the uh, the two guys that are north. So here the order doesn't much matter. Just go wherever it, it seems uh, convenient and efficient or whatever. And I'll point out here uh, that when we pick up these three folks and drop them off, we're not going to get the, uh, the time bonus. So you can look for that after we drop these folks off. So I want to back up, but not until the passenger and the patient is in the ambulance, because you don't want to be the one to back up and squish your patient as they're boarding. Okay, uh, was this the right way to go? Maybe. Sorry, someone should call that person an ambulance. Okay, uh, something else I could mention here is that uh, you can uh, push the uh, shift button, just like tap shift there, um, to uh, get your lights going, and then that makes the other cars get out of the way, which sounds like a great idea. Um, but I find it more uh, harm, it does more harm than good because the other drivers drive so erratically when you've got your, um, your uh, lights flashing and your sirens running that, that they might get in the way, like that van right there. He thought he was getting out of my way, but he was actually getting into my way. And even worse is that the other cars on the road, I'm gonna turn those off because it's annoying and I don't like it. Um, the other cars on the road might uh, swerve out of the way so aggressively that they actually squish one of your patients. So I don't bother using them. I guess maybe in rare circumstances, I'll turn them on, like if there's a traffic jam and I just need these fools to get out of my way. But usually I just drive on my own here and I leave those sirens off. <clears throat> okay, so mostly driving, occasionally glancing at the map until these guys appear. I'll uh, pick this one up here. And then I guess the next left to grab the last person. Now he's kind of close, so I'm going to wait for the camera to come around here. Get that taxi out of my way. And then this will be level eight complete, eight out of 12. All right, so that wasn't so great. I didn't mean to get hit by that person. Sometimes I get confused as to which one of these turns is the one that I want. Like maybe it's this one. Sometimes I go too far. Let's see if it's this. Now we're kind of in between here. I should learn which of those left turns is the one that I want. So we'll go this way. Oh gosh, drop these guys off and we'll be pointing north, which is almost certainly where we're going to go to pick up our first three passengers on level nine. Okay, now there is a congratulatory message there. Don't get distracted by it. Don't get out of your ambulance that, um, oh gosh, I'm getting distracted by looking at the map, looking for the farthest away guy here. There's plenty of folks up here. Um, so I think this one up here will be the one that we start with. Uh, so that um, the message gave you something. I don't know what it gave you, like uh, like the, the health icon at your safe house, maybe. I'm not sure. Hardly matters. We got to keep going until we get the second congratulatory message, which will happen when we complete level 12 of this horrifying paramedic. 
Okay, so we got 23 seconds added here. It's not ideal. It's not all that much, frankly. Uh, I'm trying to get past this person so they don't run out in front of me. And uh, then there's a little thing. If you have three people in your ambulance and you drive too close to uh, another patient on the road, it'll say ambulance full. It's nothing to worry about. Um, but it's something that you don't want to like get distracted by if it happens and you're not expecting it. Okay, so there are three more folks who are kind of in the ballpark of the St. Mark's area here that we could pick up, and I think we're going to do them now. And so here, like in the beginning, I'd pick up somebody far away first, but now, because I want to make sure I really build up my, my time, my clock, I'm going to pick up three folks who are close to the hospital, or at least two of them are. This guy going to come? Yep. Um, because that will give us lots and lots of time, and then we can go out and pick the folks who are further away. So we'll grab this one. You can even tell which side of the street they're on. So I know this one's on the left by looking at the map. Come on in, ma'am. We're going to take good care of you. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll head down to the end of this road and make a left. That'll be the road that the hospital is on. Hello, officer. I'm doing important work here. That's why I'm breaking the traffic laws. Okay, so a quick glance at the map. Um, I, got, I think there's two people north yeah and then one south doesn't really matter here we got plenty of time so we'll grab this one first and then we'll head back and grab the other two to the north not sure exactly where they are another glance at the clock a minute 40 is plenty uh, you could drop this person off here but there's no point you're not going to get the time bonus and uh, we're not gonna uh, we have room for the remaining patients in our ambulance. That'll fill us up with three once we pick up these last two. Okay, so I think this one is somewhere on this road, and I'm not exactly sure where that other one is. Somewhere farther east, mostly driving and occasionally looking at the map. There they are. And then here, I guess we'll just continue forward until we figure out where this person is. So we are going to um, head over some grass here, which is always risky in the ambulance. But this path is reasonably safe. Just kind of go slow down here. Keep all four wheels touching the ground. And then we'll pick up this last person. Not crushing any of these pedestrians because I don't want a wanted level. And now we've got a minute 33 to get back to the hospital. No problem. Okay, so I don't like going into the big uh, potholes in the ground there, uh, but hitting those orange cones is generally okay. All right, so we'll drop off these three, finishing up level nine. That leaves three levels left to go. I'm going to take a quick look at the map. Um, this time we're going to go this way, 49 seconds. Okay, so we're going to grab this one who's farthest south, and uh, hopefully it'll give us a, a healthy time bonus. We'll see. Oh gosh, you can see just smacking into like any little thing can send you on a harrowing journey, which might result in you flipping your, your ambulance. All right, lots of time, no whammies, no whammies. 25 is probably like middle of the road in terms of how much time you might hope to get. We'll make it work. And now I'm just looking for three folks that are convenient to me. So here's somebody right here. And then do we have to go farther west or can we pick up somebody else? I guess we can get this one right here. Where are we? Oh, we're inside. All right, this is dicey. I didn't realize this person was inside the, uh, I think they're inside, inside the basketball court here. It's only dicey because um, it takes extra time to come in and get them. And in the beginning, you want to get folks who are easy to get and don't take a lot of time. And, it, you know, like it, it would have taken extra time to get them even if they were the last passenger we picked up. But Later on in this level, presumably we'll have lots of time on the clock and not only 50 seconds. So we'll drop these folks off. We'll get our time bonus. Uh, I think I've come up with a plan here looking at the map to grab the three next southernmost folks. All right, a minute six. So we're going to come over here and we'll grab this one and then the two other folks to the south. You, sir, would you like a ride? Okay, and then over here. Uh, so you could, I guess we can take this thing here, just be very careful and slow on that ramp. So we'll grab this one in the passenger side, and then I think the last one is on the westernmost road here. 
And so you can see we're already up to two minutes. That's um, we've got plenty of time now. I was a little bit concerned that oh gosh, that we uh, had to go on the basketball court early on. I didn't intend to do that. So I said, oh gosh, because I was concerned there that uh, that passenger was going to walk in the way of the oncoming van, and I was hopeful the van was going to stop because they don't always. So I didn't, uh, if I'd been more better, more prepared, I, I wouldn't have let that passenger walk in, in the van's path. I would have like put myself in the van's path because I know the van would stop for me, but not necessarily for the patients. <clears throat> Okay, uh, I can see somebody here coming up on the left. Where are they? Right here. Okay, and as soon as they start moving again, we stop. So we'll grab the uh, two most northern folks here. And, uh, and then we'll just make the one last trip for the one remaining person. So, and that will bring us to the end of level 10. Uh, but even though we've got two minutes left and only two folks to pick up, it's not the time to rest on your laurels because you can, like you can, you can fail this thing at um, at any time. Like just a, a little lapse in concentration, and you spend thirty minutes for nothing. So continue to pay attention as you carefully get through all twelve levels here. So after my, uh, you know, 16 hours of failure, um, you know, I got my first mission success. I actually used a glitch. Uh, I know this is a glitchless run, but I was so exasperated at my inability to finish paramedic. I used some kind of glitch, which made my ambulance, um, like it, it got rid of its like hitbox or something. So it meant that I um, wouldn't crash into other cars. I, like I could just drive through other cars. I couldn't accidentally... Um, smack into patience and uh, and so I was finally able to cheese my way to my first victory after 16 hours but then I learned some more stuff like I was saying about um, the uh, 25 second time bonus kind of thing here being fixed based on the first person you pick up oh gosh um, and that you want to pick somebody up that's far away in the beginning and then after that group folks together so I just didn't have the the knowledge base in addition to not having the skill to drive an ambulance very well Lots of handbrake turns. If you uh, crash into too much stuff when there's folks in your car, uh, you could kill them. That that's pretty uncommon in my experience. Uh, oh gosh, you gotta you gotta really do a lot of damage to the ambulance when there are people in the car in order to harm them. So that's not really so much of a concern, but really you do want to keep your ambulance healthy because it has to survive all twelve levels. Okay, so loads of folks over here, an embarrassment of riches. Uh, so now that it's raining, your traction is even worse, so be more careful because your stopping distance isn't so good. 28 seconds is very healthy. This third person will go in the passenger seat, so we'll stop right here. Let's go. And just like that, a minute 40 is plenty of time. I feel quite confident that I'll have time to do this whole level. But it's, uh, like I said, the most crucial time is the beginning of the level. And picking somebody up first that's far away, and then two other folks that are conveniently located. Okay, so all driving here. I didn't even pay attention to the map at all, so I don't know where anybody else is. Um, maybe we'll just head out here to the west. All right, I see three folks that are kind of close to each other here, so I'll grab them. You look like you're in need of assistance. Come on in. Okay, and then where's this person? We can wait for the camera to come around. Can't see, there we go. All right, so they're moving, which means I'm stopped. I'm holding the handbrake turn. And then uh, I'll grab this one here in the back seat. Hey, do you two know each other? You kind of look similar here. All right, so uh, we'll make another trip to the north because that's where everybody except for one person is. Two and a half minutes, plenty of time. Again, try not to crash into the police cars so you don't get the wanted level. A wanted level isn't uh, necessarily mission failure, but it does make things more difficult than they need to be. All right, so we got two folks up here. Yeah, I think we'll just grab these three most northern folks. So I guess over here to this main road. Excuse me. All right. You can just go right ahead then. 
Okay, so one here, and then we're going to take this uh, grass shortcut for the first time. We took it going the other direction. Now we're going to go up the hill. So we want to kind of go up this hill straight, like not at an angle, but straight up the hill. And then uh, I wait for my camera to come around so I can see this person. And then one more person, I guess we'll just grab the further north of these two. So we'll make this right. And hop on in. Thank you for your service. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll make our left to the hospital. And then I guess just one more uh, trip to finish up level 11. <clears throat> Okay, so I just took a look at the map there. I can see that uh, the northernmost person isn't very far away. So we'll grab them first because we're going to be pointing north anyway. And then I don't know exactly where the southern person is, but we'll find them plenty of time. <clears throat> okay, so through the sidewalk shortcut here. And then make a right. <clears throat> still being vigilant, still being careful, smacking into any one of these Light poles can cause you to roll your ambulance, even at this late stage in paramedic, which would be tragic, especially for me, because then I'd have to record this whole video again. All right, through the concrete shortcut here, past the ambulance, no need to stop to drop the, past the hospital, no need to drop this person off. And then we just gotta find this last one over here. So, Go right through here, and now finally we see them on the left. Handbrake turn there, and come on in. Okay, I only back up when they've stopped moving, because again, you don't want to back up into them. All right, so as long as we don't roll the ambulance here, we will finish um, level 11, and that will, have, that will leave us with just one level left. Paramedic is easy. Famous last words on video. Uh, I should have said that uh, as soon as uh, they start getting out, when you drop them in the marker, uh, you can just drive away. Uh, there's no danger. I've never run into any of them or killed any of them um, once they've begun the process of getting out. Okay, so uh, let's grab this one first. We'll grab these three that are real close to each other and hopefully we get lots of time. 26 is uh, decent. I think we should have no problem. Um, you know, like surprisingly, counterintuitively, uh, the levels tend to get a bit easier the farther in you get because there's so many folks out there that you can grab and, um, you know, sort of by necessity, some of them are near each other. And so you can group them in efficient ways and have plenty of time to finish the mission. Whereas like if you're on level four or five, you might end up kind of making a bad choice in the beginning and then um, and then uh, getting sort of stuck, uh, isolated out there by yourself where there's not a lot of patients nearby to give you the 26 second time bonuses. Okay, so uh, where can we go now? So there's this one here to the right. Let's grab them. Okay, and looking at the map but not moving when they start coming towards the vehicle. All right, mostly driving. All right, so then we're going to make this left turn here and grab this person. And then we'll just continue going in the same westerly direction and grab the northernmost of these folks over here. Not necessarily the most efficient route, uh, but again, it's very hard to find the most efficient route because of the uh, shortcoming of the map, that it's just a mini map and you can't actually blow it up and see where everybody is. Okay, that is six of the 12 required passengers on this final level. Okay, and then we'll make a left here. All right, so I can see two more folks that they are very close to the hospital. That's convenient, so we're gonna leave them to later. Again, just trying to group these folks in some efficient way. Three, 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 and three. Okay. So I'm actually kind of confused. Okay, so now I can see the two folks to the right there. All right, so we're gonna grab this one here, and then we're gonna grab the two folks that are on the east, and I think that's our plan. Mostly driving, again, occasional looks at the map, occasional looks at the clock to make sure that we're okay. 
So we'll grab this one and then we'll continue going east. Uh, there is somebody else in the, you know, kind of Trenton, Portland area of the map, but the two folks to the east are, are close to each other. And so I want to be able to pick them both up on the same ambulance trip. All right, you can get out of the way. All right, so it looks like somebody's just a little bit off to the right here. Let's grab them first. Come on in. And then we'll grab this other one here. And start heading back to the hospital for our penultimate trip. And then looking at the map a little bit here. Yeah, okay, so I think we've got our plan to finish this off. I think it's okay to go through the bushes with the ambulance. I've never gotten my ambulance flipped or rolled by those bushes because it's so heavy. Okay, and then an ultimate stop in the marker. Okay, so ultimate means final, penultimate means uh, second to final, second to last. Uh, but then if you really want to be nerdy, you can learn two more words that are in that same vein. So anti-penultimate is third from last. And then pre-anti-penultimate is fourth from last. And now that you know those words, you can use them and be a pro. Okay, so 11 out of 12 passengers safely in the vehicle. Let's get the last one somewhere south of the hospital. I don't know which road they're on. I think I'm going to go, yeah, let's go past the hospital road and do this road instead. Just making my best guess based on the minimap. Okay, so there's a drunk driver here. I kind of want to be in between the drunk driver and my passenger. That was a little bit nerve-wracking. I don't know what I should have done differently there. I I think I could have done something to make them safer. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have gotten farther away to despawn the patient, or maybe I should have more aggressively tried to pick them up before the drunk driver got there. I don't know. Either way, I'm thrilled because I only had to record this paramedic one time, and it is done. So uh, the live split timer doesn't record paramedic being completed, so I have to push a hotkey, uh, or the wrong hotkey, uh, this hotkey. Um, to mark that thing is done. And then you can see it recorded the time is completed at one hour, 15 minutes, 41 seconds. Brilliant. Okay, uh, next thing, last thing in this video is to drop off the ambulance. It's one of the uh, required vehicles for this import export location. There's the outdoor import export location right here. So you can see that it's gonna get picked up by that magnetized thing. And uh, I'm going to hit the minus button to record that that ambulance has been successfully completed, even though it's going to tell me in a few moments that, that I got 1500 bucks for finishing that. Um, the other import export is right here. And actually, uh, one of the vehicles that's required is the Yankee. So I could bring it right in there, but we're going to do that later at a fixed point in the run. So last thing to do in this video, uh, we'll wait for that $1,500 acknowledgement to show up. Um, but we're also going to head over to the police cars, the police station, uh, because the next thing to do is a vigilante for the next video. So there you go. That 1500 is, is because of the ambulance that we just picked up. And uh, as we do vigilante, you want to get your car that you're in out of the way. We'll pause the timer um, because you don't want it to be in the middle of the road for the vigilante missions, which are coming up next in the next video. Thanks for watching.